Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel. And today we're gonna to talk about where I've been, what I'm using, and where this channel is gonna go from here. Well, listen, I have missed doing this. There's been a lot going on in my life and I'm sure you can understand that, but hey, life happens. Actually, what's happening right now is me and my lovely family of six are traveling Southeast Asia right now. I quit my job. My kids do something called world schooling. And uh, right now I'm in Vietnam. I'm getting a chance to experience the world. And it's a lot of fun, but there's a lot going on. Uh, what I'm doing on the side right now is I edit videos for corporations, uh, churches, things like that. If you have any, any need of that, I could use some help and help you out. But really, it's just been a crazy thing. We uh, kept our house, uh, but we're airbnb it out. Uh, that's doing pretty well. This is pretty crazy. So I've missed getting a chance to do this. So I've just decided we're going to make it happen. I've got a phone here and it's plugged into my computer with OBS and we're going to see how it goes. So last time I did a video was a year ago. And on that video, I talked about how I was having some driver issues and you know was trying to get things going i went to pop os well i'd love to get a chance to share with you might as well talk about my experience with pop os for the past year that's right i've been using pop os for a year now it has been going outstanding it's worked well i've been able to use davinci resolve i've been able to use whatever i need to and it's been going nice and smooth on this trip uh, in Southeast Asia. My wife's computer is running Ubuntu. My son's computer is running Pop! OS. Uh, my other three boys, they're using a Chromebook for specifically to allow me to um, work through with some uh, access and some things like that for educational purposes and security purposes and all that kind of weird stuff that you deal with when you have four boys. That's That's what we're using right now. So we're using Linux all over the place. And then on top of that, when I uh, stopped working where I was before, I turned in uh, their device, it was their phone, and I purchased myself a Samsung S23 Ultra. So I'm Android now. That's been working well. The camera on it is outstanding. So I've enjoyed that. I've really loved using it. So I'm one of the weird people that went from uh, iPhone to Android. I don't, I think a lot of people typically go from Android to iPhone, but for me, I went the other way around just like I went from Mac to uh, Linux. Uh, the other thing is my son is using the Dell G15. He games on it literally every day and with Pop! OS. And then for me, I am using an Asus ProArt StudioBook 16. Uh, similar specs to the G15, except it's got a, I believe it's the 13th gen uh, Intel processor uh, versus the 12th gen that was in my, my uh, Dell G15. And, but it's still got a uh, NVIDIA RTX 3060, and that's been working fine, rendering video smooth, no problems there. Now, uh, I'm wanting to get back into this. It's been a crazy ride for me. If you can imagine moving out of your house, starting an Airbnb, starting a business, getting your kids set up for homeschooling in a whole other country, it's been crazy. I'm not going to be ashamed about you know the time that it's taken me to get back up and going. But the good news is I've continued to use Linux. I've continued to use it. I haven't stopped. It's been a part of my life. I've expanded it and I haven't looked back. I've just really enjoyed using Linux. It's been a blast. I'm actually looking forward to uh, Pop! OS's new Cosmic Desktop and hopefully get a chance to test that out soon. I think the alpha is either coming out extremely soon or it just came out. So I'd like to put that on a virtual machine, check it out and see where it is. But I'd also like to do a quick review uh, of my last year experience with Pop! OS. It might be beneficial to you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my desktop. We'll check it out together. We won't be reviewing the install process. Um, the install process went smooth. I did it, you know, plenty of times on multiple devices. It works great, it, it's very smooth. And there's not much to talk about as far as the desktop goes and the experience, but I will be able to tell you what's worked well and what it, what hasn't. So 
Let me get a chance to do that for you. Let me switch over to my desktop and we'll get going from there. This is nothing new for any of you who have been using Pop! OS for any amount of time. It's based on GNOME. It's got a whole bunch of their own extensions to make it work the way they want to. There's a couple of things that are pretty great. Uh, what I can say is hardware support has been great. Whether I plug in a SSD or a camera or you know, an external keyboard, it doesn't matter. It's been working great. There's been nothing I have been able to get work as far as the software that I need. Uh, software that I need, uh, I need uh, DaVinci Resolve, which works great. I need uh, OBS. There's a couple other things I had to get Microsoft Teams. And I know you can do that through web browser, but uh, I decided to get a nice little client and it works great. So that's been good for me. Yeah, let's, let's walk around a little bit here. Uh, I always love using the workspaces and making that work for me. I'll typically have a web browser for research set up on the first space. So we'll do this here. We'll put up a web browser and then a gestures on your trackpad uh, works great. So if you use four fingers, it's just a swipe down and you're on the next one. And that's pretty great. Uh, and then I just set up a couple workspaces and it's good to go from there. My family, they use Google Chrome. Uh, my kids use a Chromebook. So having Google Chrome here, I've got to use it sometimes. So I've used that. I use Thunderbird. That works great. Uh, I love this, this setup here. It's nice and easy. I can quickly search. I can add any kind of organization that I want as far as breaking down how I want to look for some of these programs and it's great. I just use the basic terminal. It works great for me. It's a great laptop, 32 gigs of memory, you know, no problems there. I've also liked Btop instead of uh, uh, Htop. And it, I don't know, this is kind of, it's cheesy. It kind of looks, kind of looks cool to me. I just like the way it looks, but I do use it uh, to monitor a couple things and to, to monitor what's uh, taking up our resources. It also gives me information on which CPU cores are working. Uh, I am blessed to have a lot of cores to work. I've also had to get a couple of things. I work with an IT company, uh, I help consult, and they use WebEx. And so they have a Linux client and I'm able to use that. That's cool, I love it. One thing that has not worked well for me on Pop! OS, and I know you've probably heard it about a thousand billion times. The Pop Store is not great. It's functional, it does work, but it is not great. And, and here's what you know doesn't work great about it. It's still going through its processes to be ready to tell you something. It's checking for updates right now after I've opened it. And it's gonna take a bit or it might freeze. I don't know. We'll find out in just a second, shall we? Shall we do a little dance waiting for it to finish checking updates or did it already freeze? Oh, look, it's frozen. It's broken. Oh, there it goes, it crashed. Let's try it again. Let's see if it works this time. And this is on something that is such a well-featured system. It just works so well, except for this app store. And if you know what you're looking for, it's easy enough to type in the terminal and get what you need and be done, right? But the reason why you have an app store is to be able to search for something. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna look for a camera. And look at that, look how horrible that took, right? So it just is not that great. Now, I did go ahead and download the Cosmic App Store. Now, boom, it is already loading up and it is already populated and it is ready to go. This is gonna be great when it's ready to go uh, with the new Cosmic Desktop. It's gonna be great. So, hey, I'm looking forward to moving on from the pop shop, okay? This Cosmic Store is way better. Um, right now, 
all I'm doing is updating through the terminal and calling it a day. That's just um, how it's working for me. You know, you've got your system settings here. I love and I have used and have updated the firmware on this Asus uh, from this space here. Uh, I love the OS upgrade and recovery. It's probably going to tell me I have one ready to go. I like this. Um, I'm running on the most current Pop! OS version. That's cool. This is in the settings area, by the way. You know, it's pretty great. I love it. Um, my headphones are connected by Bluetooth and they work great. Uh, you guys already know about the tile windowing feature. I don't use it. That's just how I like to work with uh, workspaces to make that happen for me. So that's what I got to say about that. So my past year with Pop! OS, it really has been great. I'm not looking to move on. There for a while, I was wanting to test everything, right? Partly because I was learning. But, you know, it's working great for me, and I'm going to keep it, and I'm looking forward to moving into the Cosmic Desktop to see if it works for me. If it doesn't, maybe I'll still keep the Pop! OS system and move to KDE. Maybe I'll uh, move on to another operating system. I'm not sure. But it will be Linux. So what I'm going to do over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to start to get back into this, we're gonna start looking at some things. Uh, Fedora 40 just came out. So I wanna check that out. Ubuntu 2404 just came out. I wanna check that out. Uh, I also uh, wanna look at some uh, desktop environments, kind of see where things are and you know, catch up with you guys, see what's going on, see how things are going. This is pretty cool. So uh, I'm excited to do this again. I'm excited to be with you. Let's do this.